Apple stuff. So. <laughs> yes. And this is by Hubert Leonard, who is a, a very important Belgian violinist. And uh, the reason he isn't known in the United States is that uh, none of his stuff has been translated. He, he plays it in Belgium? In French? Belgian French, yeah. There you go. He just eats Belgian chocolate when he does. Yeah. So this is a duet for solo violin. And Leonard always had, had a very good gift for melody, but he also had a very good sense of humor. And it sounds like a, kind of a carnival music to me.
by a violinist who was virtually forgotten. The early part of the century, Manuel Quiroga was one of the greatest names in all of music. He's a very handsome man. He always said that uh, his greatest inspiration was to play for the ladies of the audience. He was also a composer. And uh, his concert career and almost his life came to a screeching halt in 1937 after a very successful concert in New York. On his way home, he said goodbye to his pianist. Um, let's see if I can remember the name of the pianist. He was very famous. And then on his way back to the hotel, he was struck by a car, <gasps> severely injured, and his, uh, I think his left arm became paralyzed. Mm -hmm. He never played again. Wow. And uh, okay. it was a pianist was Jose Iturbi. Maybe some of you remember that name. Yes. Very important pianist, movie actor, conductor. But this piece, he was from the extreme northwest of Spain, the, uh, in Galicia. And that is, you know, people always tell jokes about various unfortunate members of, uh, of the world. And all the Spaniards make fun of the people from Galicia. Mm -hmm. It's the, the upper northwestern corner of Spain. This piece is called Emigrantes Celtas. And then I, there's, it's a language very similar to Portuguese. But the translation, there's a, a little, uh, two little phrases. One is from, far from my land, far from my home. And I wish I knew exactly what connection it had. But it's a very interesting piece. And he was known now only because the great violinist Isai dedicated one of his sonatas to him. And otherwise, Manuel Quiroga would be completely forgotten. But if you can hear recordings of him, he was a fabulous violinist. Mm -hmm. So here is his Emigrantes Celtas. It has all kinds of very special effects, very different from the other piece. <laughs>